Hey, happy Friday, everybody. Mark again here at Weatherman Plus. Now, I have some big updates for you. Not what's going on with Hurricane Lee. Hurricane Lee is actually tropical storm. It's going to be post-tropical. It's going to start dissipating, spreading out, weakening. And there's going to be more impacts because it's going to be weakening and spreading out. But it has moved further to the east. There's less worry about that. We do have chances for tornadoes. That is coming with the thunderstorms through Texas for today. Plus, we have Invest 97L still shown is going to do that big loop in the Atlantic. It will be Nigel. But this next area to watch, this is one of the waves that we need to watch for as it comes into the Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico. Even the eastern Pacific could affect Mexico or the southwest U.S. So this area is starting to get more active. And if you've never been here before, make sure you subscribe. I am all year long. That way you get all the updates. I've been following this area for a couple of weeks now. Even got clarified a few days ago that there is an area to watch over here as we go late September, early October. And I will give you all the latest information on what's going on in this video. Now remember, timestamps will be in the description below. That way you can go to whichever part you want to see because there is a few things to talk about. But you can see right here, you're going to start getting banding coming in anytime once you hit around 10 o'clock all the way till midnight. Then it's going to spread out all the way across Maine, all the way to the early morning hours. But Lee is going to dissipate pretty quickly after that. By the time you get to noon time and start going on 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, you might still be dealing with some of the waves, but now it's really going to be messing with Nova Scotia over here, all this onshore flooding. Y'all going to be getting, y'all going to be getting some winds as well. But it's gotten a lot weaker and it's gotten further to the east. But we do also have these storms that's popping in all day long for Texas all evening, also in the morning, and for tomorrow as well. So there's a lot of storms that's coming through the South Central, and it is bringing y'all chances for tornadoes as well. And you do see there is some hail cores that's in there as well. So I'm going to go through the areas and let you know what you can expect. Now, ladies, update, disturbance one, invest 97L is still at 90%, 48 hours, 90% seven days. It's going to form any time now. Still going to move west-northwest, and as it gets blocked by this high pressure, it is trending now that this trough will come down and carry that away. Also, the next area, disturbance two, it is low. It's at 20%. This is going to leander all the way across to NPR, start forming up something Weak, strong, weak, strong. It's going to go in and out of unfavorable conditions, but it will be favorable over here for the Western Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico, the Eastern Pacific, and this is where it's going to grow. And this is where you got the Central American gyre that's going to be in effect. There's a lot of things coming into play as we go over our peak season. Now, you see the update for Lee Yar and Tropical Storm warning conditions, all this blue, and Yar under Hurricane Watch in this pink, west of Halifax and right here on the tip of Maine. That's because the winds could reach a little bit as it's turning that way to hurricane force, it'd be around the edge, probably get some high 60s that's coming your way. So just be aware, these are the new alerts. Rainfall has gone down as well. This is a two-day rainfall assessment. One to two inches in the light green, two to four inches in the dark green, and four to six inches right here for Maine, possibly, as far as rainfall. That is it. It's going way further to the east. Storm surge also going down one to three feet widespread and it's one to two feet over here by Long Island. So it's going way down even by Cape Cod where do you expect it two to four feet. It's going down to one to three feet. But so far showing that's about what it's going to be. Showing a lot of 50 miles per hour wind gusts picking up towards 60 in the edge of western of Halifax getting into the 70s but a lot of 60s and maybe the edge of Cape Cod maybe getting towards 70s on your wind gusts. That is about it according to Euro. GFS takes it a little bit stronger, a little bit further to the north but weaker over here for Cape Cod, but it takes high 60s over here for the edge of Maine. So I would take both of them together as high 60s all the way around, even chances for 70s just like they have it. They have the hurricane watch in this area, hurricane watch in this region, and that's where the high 60s to maybe the 70s look like it will be. Plus our next area to watch, still showing from September 27th through October 3rd. Euro still showing it will be October. GFS is showing it's gonna be late September. About to go into October, and Euro is showing it could be in the Eastern Pacific. GFS, of course, showing is coming right at us. So it could be anywhere in the Western Caribbean, into the Gulf, going to the Bay of Campeche, also into the Eastern Pacific around this time. Now, this is all normal. Usually in September, we will get them coming in from the MDR and swinging around just like we see with Invest 97L, which is going to do. Also, we get them into the Western Caribbean, going into our Gulf, which could easily go to the West or swing around towards the Southeast and come out through the Northeast. 
that's what we can see this time of year as well and as we switch over into october then it's going to be forming mostly around the western caribbean this is where you get those low swings around the east coast as well so this wave is coming right around these times guys and we're literally going right over the peak of our season right at september 10th remember we're going all the way till november but we do have another strong point coming at the end of september also at the end of october and that is two moments when we have something strong anomalies coming according to our velocity anomaly so you can see the latest update according to the gfs that we're going to start coming into favorable conditions a lot of lift going into the atmosphere and you can see especially for the western caribbean mostly the gulf of mexico and a little bit of the bay of campeche and a little bit of the eastern pacific as well that's where this is more likely to form and that's where we're seeing some of the outcomes in the model runs also as we go towards the beginning of october something forming off the mdr once again invest 97l nigel when it comes around we are going to get this trough and this trough is going to carry that out going to get a high pressure growing right here and this is going to block this system going any further to the west and this trough has got a hold of it right there you see how it's got a hold of it and it's going to carry it out with that first trough plus gfs is seeing many potentials not only a strong storm that's going to be coming towards september 24th coming towards the south i will keep you updated but we have multiple waves is that wave coming from the mdr going through the lesser antilles right around the 26th we have a lot of thunderstorms that's going to be going around the central american gyre and that's famous for forming a lot of low pressure as well so multiple things are coming into play as we go towards the end of september guys this is going to be a hectic turn going into october but you can see here with gfs how it gets blocked from the high pressure that trough carries that out to invest 97l nigel and potentially this is zero z run some things can form up by the central american gyre and spit that towards our gulf of mexico while we get a tropical wave coming from the mdr so there's a lot of convection there's a lot of lift there's a lot of favorable environment that we're going into as we go towards the end of september beginning of october take these with a grain of salt it's too far to know where this system is going to form yet but anywhere in this region will be favorable for lift and you can see the difference with the 6z run it's just all kind of different scenarios you got some kind of wave going into the eastern pacific you got that wave coming off the mdr staying kind of weak it's fighting unfavorable conditions and it gets favorable once it gets into our caribbean it starts forming up something possibly by puerto rico maybe staying weak by the bahamas coming into our gulf maybe something into the eastern pacific maybe multiples it's just too far to know for sure all i know is we need to keep our eye on this region while we go through this transition from september into october okay this is showing a great growth spike where something could form up and it's really close to home guys the euro confirms that block with the high pressure and that trough is going to carry out nigel invest 97l and we need to watch out for some possible front induced lows that might form right off the southeast this is seen also by gfs and it's showing it could go right up the east coast so we do need to keep our eye on that little bit as well there's a lot of things going on now when you take a look at the potential velocity anomaly according to the euro you can see that in the beginning of october because you have all this unfavorable conditions in the mdr everything's going to start forming as we go through the caribbean and that's what these weak spikes are right here in the middle of september this is the ones that could be weak going through the caribbean that the gfs is showing but euro is showing the strongest one will be maybe in the eastern pacific in the beginning of october then maybe something strong coming in our region gulf western caribbean at the 20s towards the end of october so it is showing what gfs is seeing right here as weak and confirming that that will be something weak something strong will be in the beginning of october this will be in the eastern pacific according to the euro but we have something strong coming towards the gulf the western caribbean right here towards october 20th then maybe another one eastern pacific after that so we do have a couple chances of things coming in our region getting stronger and stronger guys now let's keep in mind there is some severe weather guys so we do have chances for hail today and some chances for wind but we also got chances for tornadoes we got a two percent so far here's your cities and states at risk for today but you can see here how nasty these storm cells are that is moving through and i am showing some of them will pick up 50 and 60 miles per hour wind gusts as you get to 6 p.m it starts growing even more towards central and southern texas and as you go through one o'clock in the morning it comes from the panhandle towards central texas northern and southern 
Just a lot of y'all getting into a lot of storms. I know you need the rainfall. That's a good thing. And for tomorrow, you got to watch out for these storms along eastern Texas. But there's a lot of these storms going to pass through. It's going to bring you chances for tornadoes, damage and winds, even some flooding. So just be careful. And when you look at your helicity value, it shows you your strong updraft all the way to 5 o'clock tonight. Strong chances for some hail to come through central Texas. And as you go later tonight, coming through New Mexico into the panhandle of Texas, western Texas, overnight chances for hail through northern and southern Texas, even New Mexico. A lot of storms coming tonight, overnight, and for tomorrow morning and damage in winds they are showing it be around 50 60 miles per hour wind gusts some of these showing a little bit of 70 but you always downgrade a little bit but i'm showing some of these cells coming this evening got some 50 and 60 miles per hour wind gusts at least all together bringing some rainfall these storms are going to keep going over florida as well that little group of thunderstorms i'm sure you're just going to stay over to southeast for a while you got some for texas you got some for the northeast but you can see for texas it's not a whole bunch you are getting some rainfall but it's not a lot all the way till Monday morning. Might get up to an inch around western and central Texas. The rest of y'all going to see a quarter to maybe a half an inch. Not a whole bunch. Florida panhandle from north and south will see at least an inch. Southern Florida going to see up to two inches. So you're going to see the most. And for northeast, what you have going on for Lee is bringing a lot of rainfall. Lee at least two to three inches towards Cape Cod region. Also towards central to eastern Maine. Maybe three to four. Right where that hurricane watch is, it's showing right where the four inches could be. A lot of rainfall coming your way as well. But thank you so much for your time. God bless you and your families. Hope you have a great Friday out there. I don't know if I'm going to do an afternoon update today. It looks like Lee is going further and further to the east. The impacts pretty much are where they're going to be at this stage. Just be careful for power outages. I'm sure they'll get you on pretty quickly. They're already on standby waiting for it. So hopefully it won't be that bad. Just be careful. God bless you and your families. I do pray that y'all will be safe during this event. Now we'll update you on what's going on later in the tropics because I'm still showing this is going to be some strong anomalies coming through our areas, guys. I just don't know if I need to do an update this afternoon or not. I don't think there'd be much change because it's still too far away on that. Besides, I have to go check on the house. I still haven't moved yet. For those that don't know, I'm pretty humble guy i live in a pretty poor section which is just fine but i need to get a safer place for my family so i'm looking to move into a different location so we're gonna go check on a home this afternoon so i don't know if i'm gonna make it back in time to do a second video but i will let you know thank you so much for your time everybody and i hope you do have a very blessed weekend now before i go i want to read to you mark 11 22 through 26 and jesus answering saith unto them have faith in god for verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, What things soever ye desire when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. And when ye stand praying, forgive, and ye have aught against any, that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. But if ye do not forgive, neither will your Father which is in heaven forgive your trespasses. Amen. Remember, guys, always forgive. I, mean, I understand it's hard to forget, but always forgive. Just have peace in your life. It will bring peace to you. Don't worry about trying to bring peace to these people. You pray for them or whatever, but bring peace to yourself. Don't, don't ever hold a grudge because it just messes with yourself. Bring peace to yourself and forgive. Let God handle, handle it with others. You plant a seed, that's all you can do. Some people are there just to water it, but it don't always grow. Hope you have a very blessed day, everybody. Remember, all glory always goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I pray he always blesses you and keeps you safe every single day of your life, you and your family. <laughs> Amen! <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> Happy Friday, everybody.